Um, question, during your research, you obviously engaged with a lot of local state economic developers. What was your, per, um, your perception or your thoughts on the role of the economic developer in this process? And do you see any skills that you thought were like, wow, you guys really need to be doing this, or they're really good at this, or what were your thoughts on that? Well, for the most part, it seemed to me that the um, economic developer's role was to look out to the, for the public where they lived. You know, and this was a unique and important role, of course, because you know a private consultant is looking out for the company, the company is looking out for the company, and elected officials, you know, have a lot of agendas. So um, it seems like the local official was looking out for the people over the longer term, and that's really admirable. Um, you know, one trend um, that seems to be going on. And um, when I've talked to people who've been in the business a long time, it wasn't so existent a few decades ago, is really a merger in this business between the economic development offices and the business recruitment people. And you know, it's unclear whether these are the same things, but I found a number of examples, and I mentioned one in story two, I mentioned Irving, Texas, where cities to cut costs, or perhaps because they believe they'd be more effective, um, instead of having someone who worked for the city doing the economic development, they would contract with the chambers of commerce, which, as you know, you know the members are businesses. And so, you know, that's that's I think a question for people in the industry about, you know, again, are you representing business? Are you representing everyone? Which would include business, but would also include kids in schools and taxpayers. And it does seem like those worlds of business development and economic development. Um, you know, have been merging in some places. I know we're out of time, but I want to let you know I'm not in a rush, and I'll stand somewhere in the hallway or something, and I really am happy to talk with any of you who would like to talk with me. Um, before you give a round of applause, um, just uh, Louise, we greatly appreciate. We, uh, regardless of what anyone in this audience thinks of your work and your, your articles, we admire your willingness to come here and speak with us without a security detail. So. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you, Louise. Thank you.